Hello and welcome to Well Wild. I'm Charlie and today we're going to be trying another Florida beer from the Playlinda Brewing Company in Titusville, Florida. We have the Barn Light Droop Saison. It comes in at 7% alcohol by volume and it is made with aged peaches, apricots, and cherries. Should be interesting. And uh, this is only available at the uh, their brew pub. You can't really pick it up in stores. I had to drive up to the to the brew pub just to, to get it. Most of the beers uh, you can only get on tap there that they make, and you can get two styles in the stores, and then they sell a couple others at the brew pub in the uh, 22 ounce bottles. It definitely has an aged fermented fruit smell. Um, definitely getting a hint of uh, hint of the malts, kind of dry, grainy malts, which is uh, what I would expect from a saison, and maybe a sweetness in there. Um, let's give it a try. Yeah, definitely a fermented fruit or aged fruit of flavor in here. Uh, I'm not really tasting much of anything else uh, at the moment. Okay, I don't really taste much of the uh, the malt in there at all. All I'm getting is the uh, up front a really strong peach flavor, uh, followed by the other mixed fruits that cherry is definitely prevalent in there as well and I don't really taste the apricot too much but uh, it does taste like there's a, a mix of fruits going on in there I'm definitely not a big fan of it that aged uh, fruit flavor is not necessarily my cup of tea um, it's not terrible it's just not hitting my palate exactly the right way, probably. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would probably really like it. But me personally, it's not that great. It tastes more like a wine cooler to me than a beer. And, uh, you know, I like beer. I'm not a big fan of that wine, especially wine cooler. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Um, definitely wasn't cheap, but... You know, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this a four out of 10. Um, Play Linda Brewing Company, Titusville, Florida. We have Scrub J Lemon Wheat. Comes in at 4.6% 4, 4 alcohol by volume. And uh, it's an ale made with Mayer lemons, lavender, uh, and hibiscus. So we definitely have a peach colored beer here, very effervescent, a lot of medium to fine bubbles in that head there, looks like it'll dissipate pretty quickly. Oh, definitely getting some spices off of that. Some uh, spiciness from the lavender and some other stuff. Maybe it almost smells like there's a uh, sage in here. Can can definitely smell the hibiscus as well. But I can't I can't smell the lemons. I'm sure I'll taste the lemon. Yeah, that's a strange taste for a beer. It definitely tastes like sage. Um, it is crisp. Um, and it'd probably be refreshing. I am getting a hint of tartness. 
uh, from citrus, and I'm sure that's from the lemons, but that sage flavor is pretty overwhelming now, and uh, it's very smoky from that sage. It's uh, interesting. Yeah, so in conclusion, um, there's some tartness from the lemon, but uh, spiciness from the lavender and hibiscus and mostly a smoky sage flavor where I don't know where that smoky sage flavor is coming from because they don't use sage in it but that's the overwhelming flavor from this beer is a smoky sage uh, all in all not what I expected at all um, does it taste good? It tastes not like a beer. Much like the, uh, that barn light droop Saison that tasted more like a, a wine cooler. This beer I'm gonna have to give, uh, um, let's say a four also out of 10. It is not quite what I expected, or not even close to what I expected. Um, but you know, it's not the worst beer ever. I could definitely use a, a different flavor in this beer other than smoked sage. I was not expecting that at all. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and uh, I will see you next time. Cheers.